Welcome to an emergency shop show hot takes because our boy Jake Paul has announced that Tommy P Fury once again has pulled out of the freaking fight and Jake Paul released a scathing video to let us know that our friend Tommy Fury has pulled out. Let's see what he had to say. Yet again, I wake up this morning to another text from my manager saying that Tommy Fury is pulling out of the fight. We agreed to all of the terms. Everything is ready to go. We're 45 days away from the fight. We agreed to his $2 million purse. We agreed to a lot of testing, extra flights, extra rooms, extra tickets to the fight. We're scheduled to have a press conference next week in New York. His whole entire team was like, yeah, everything's good. We're signing the contract today, today. It kept on getting pushed. It kept on getting pushed till now. What's the excuse? Oh, I can't come and I can't do it because my dad can't be there with me during the fight. Well, Tommy, your dad has been banned from the United States for 15 years. You've known this the whole entire time. He's a criminal. He's not allowed in. When you fought Anthony Taylor in Cleveland, neither Tyson nor your dad were there with you in your U.S. debut. And now all of a sudden you need your team with you. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I will agree to not have my team around me during the fight week. I will agree to not fight with my coaches in my corner. We could both fight solo, dolo, just like Devin Haney was going to do against George Cambosos. This is what real boxers do. This is what real boxers, they make fights fucking happen. You're scared. You claim you're a professional boxer, but you don't want to make the fight with me, who you've talked so much shit about, who you said you will spark, who you say I I'm nothing compared to you. Where's all that shit talk now, Tommy? You're a fucking atypical professional boxer who doesn't want to make this fight actually fucking happen. This is the biggest opportunity of your fucking life, and you're fumbling the fucking bag once again, and I can't believe how fucking stupid you are. Fucking idiot. Now, this is the second time Tommy Fury has pulled out of the fight with Jake Paul, and it's pretty obvious Tommy Fury does not want this fight. His excuse is his dad nor his brother can corner him in the fight, but he's fought without them before. And it's well documented, as Jake Paul clearly stated in the video, that his dad isn't allowed in America, so we've known this is, he can't come here. He just can't. I don't know what's going on with his brother, but it doesn't really matter. It's just an excuse for Tommy Fury not to fight Jake Paul. I think it's pretty evident that Tommy Fury just doesn't want this fight. Or maybe he does, but what I think is just speculation. What I think is going on is the Fury family looked at Jake Paul and his skill set and said, uh, son, this isn't for you. You're going to give the whole family name a bad look by getting knocked out by Jake Paul because that's exactly what would happen. If you look at what Jake Paul agreed to, it's insane. $2 million purse. Now let's talk about a $2 million purse. $2 million purse. Tommy Fury will never touch $2 million inside a boxing ring, ever. I don't think it's ever possible for that man to ever get a $2 million bag based off uh, his record, his experience. He'd have to fight for, I don't know, probably win the next 10 fights by knockout in order to even smell $2 million. It's a perfect opportunity for Tommy Fury to make a lot of money boxing a YouTuber. So for Tommy Fury, I think his family's going, hey, we have all the money. His, his brother has all the money. His dad's doing fine, although he can't come to the States, so he's not doing that great. But, you know, so his family and their legacy, they're going, hey, we'll give you $2 million just not to take the fight. This is a terrible look, my man. He's not winning the fight. It's not happening. Because if you look at Tommy Fury's boxing record, it is awful. Now, it's not awful that he's undefeated. It's awful in the opponents that he has fought. Some could argue that Jake Paul has a much tougher uh, boxing opponent by far than Tommy Fury. It's not even close. What? You want me to look into it? Okay, I'll do that real quick for you. So his last fight, which he won against Daniel Bokanowski, Mike Wisconowski, his last fight, he fought a guy who's 10-2. and two. You're like, oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Except for that guy who's 10-2 and two is coming off a loss. And his fight before that, he beat a guy by decision who's 11-37. and 11:37. But Tommy beat him. Okay, sure. But it wasn't an easy fight for him. And before that, he fought a guy in Anthony Taylor who was 0 and 1, and he won by decision. And before that, he fought a guy named Jordan Grant who's 2 and 0. Okay, he beat him by decision. Uh, before that, he fought a guy who's 0 and 9. He knocked him out. The guys never had success in the boxing ring. Before that, he fought a guy who was 0 and 11. 
Before that, he uh, TKO'd a guy who's 2-26. and 26, And then, this is where it gets really dicey. His first two fights, he fought a gentleman who's 0-26. Oh and 26. And then this is my ultimate favorite, favorite, and this guy I would love to have on the show on a food truck if he wants. This man is 10 and 102. 10 and 102. Maybe boxing's not for you, but God bless you, my man. You keep on doing it. So Tommy Fury's resume is terrible, and if you look at Jake Paul's, it's much more impressive. So who doesn't want to fight who clearly Tommy Fury does not want this fight. This time he pulled out first time pulled out due to an illness, whatever. Then he agrees to the fight and Jake Paul agreed to every single thing. Matter of fact, Jake Paul goes, dude, you can't have your corner. How about this? I won't have my corner. I'll do it. So low dolo. He's just trying to get a fight. So if you guys are sitting watching this right now going, yeah, but Jake Paul's not a real fighter, but Tommy Fury is in what world? Cause his brother, no, come on. There's no argument there. Also, for the argument of, well, Jake Paul hasn't Jake Paul hasn't fought a real boxer. Does Tommy Fury check that box for you? He doesn't for me. I think uh, Woodley's a much more difficult opponent than Tommy Fury. It's not even close. So to me, this is a matter of Tommy Fury's family going, we've seen the tape, man. We've also seen you fight. Let's go. Uh, can you go back to Love Island? I don't think so. I don't know how it works. I think you can only do one round. But if you could, let's do that. But he can't do that. So I think they're looking at this going, you're going to lose this fight. It's going to be a huge black guy. No pun intended. It's going to be a huge black guy in the Fury family name. It's not happening. Let's pull out. And if you look at the press conference, Tommy Fury is a shy, nice kid, super shy. His dad, John, did all the trash talking. So his dad became this bigger-than-life celebrity who talked all this shit to a YouTuber and Jake Paul. And Tommy Fury just sat on the side. It's a bad look. I think his family goes, listen. This isn't good for the family. Let's back out of it. And it's insane because Tommy Fury's talked all this trash. Jake Paul's agreed to every single thing to make this fight happen. And you can get $2 million fine at Madison Square Garden. What more could you want, Tommy Fury? Here's the other thing. You're never going to get this opportunity again. Never. Because recently Dana went on the Mac Life, Dana White, and said, yeah, listen, when it comes to Nate Diaz, and he's being respectful but also throwing a little shade, said when it comes to Nate Diaz, it's not like we're talking about Kamal Usman here. The guy's won one fight in the past six years. You know, so we do owe him a fight, and we're trying to, you know, honor that, the contract, but he really should be fighting Jake Paul. Cool. Release him, Dana. Release him. Your move, Uncle Dana. Release Nate Diaz so he can move on and fight Jake Paul and make so much more money, and that's what he wants. He even tweet out, all right, send the release papers. I would be willing to bet the UFC might be down to do that. Although they're just waiting to see what Connor wants to do because that's their cash cow. So if Connor goes, no, don't let him off yet. I want to fight him December, January. You're not going to get a Nate Diaz release. But if Connor goes, no, nah, I'm going to fight Michael Chandler or Charles Oliveira. I bet you the UFC actually is open to releasing Nate Diaz. So again, your move, Uncle Dana. How about you let Nate Diaz go so he can move on and Jake Paul he needs somebody to tango with. And this is a huge fight for both of them to make all the money. But Dana, just release our boy, Nate Diaz. Can you do that for us? Your move, my man.